uh, we have a little bit more to say about hotkeys. Um, this is where we left off in the previous video. I haven't changed anything, but we haven't run this script yet. So what we have so far is when we press Control O, it's going to call send input and type some text. And we still have our friendly escape here that will get us out of anything we can get into, more or less. All right, so now we're going to press Control O, and it types some text. And instead of just running once, now we can do it again, and it'll type it. Uh, hold on, but you can't actually run some text because it's not legal. Okay, so we can type Control Zero, and we can type it again and again and again, and it'll keep going and uh, keep sending that text. So that can be useful in some cases when you want to send maybe a few hotkeys, maybe you want to send down five times or something along those lines, you can do that. Um, we're also going to take a look about how you would how you would come up with the hotkeys that you want to use. Okay, So we have some examples here. Um, this is our control, which is the caret on your keyboard, the super Windows key, the hash, plus is shift, and Alt is this exclamation point. So the hotkeys always go on the left side of these two colons. So if we wanted to do, for example, Control, Enter, you would combine them like this. And then whatever's on the right side would happen whenever you press Control, Enter. If we just have Enter, whenever you press Enter, it would happen. But you can also use multiple ones of these. So we could have say control alt enter and then you'd have to press control and alt and enter um, to trigger your action. I also notice I have this little clock down here that I made in about five minutes and that keeps track of when the five minutes is up. So we started this about three minutes ago. Let's continue. Um, if we wanted to do down we would have to replace enter with down, there's a small catch where if we wanted to combine two two hotkeys, say we have enter and down at the same time, we put an and in the middle here. But the problem with that is enter is not considered a normal key anymore, so you'll have trouble sending enter. It's considered um, a modifier, as control and alt and shift and all those are, in that you can't really press it by itself. So that's kind of dangerous, and people try to do that a lot of times with the left and right, right mouse button, checking if they're both pressed down at the same time. But that causes problems, so we're going to try to avoid it and maybe come up with a better solution. So if we come back to our, our editor here, um, we're just going to play around with this a little bit. We're going to do, let's see, we're going to have control alt G, um, and we're going to have it do send send input auto hotkey dot com and then enter. All right, and we will run that. And then when we go over to our web browser and open a new tab, press Control G. Oh, sorry, Control-Alt-G was our hotkey. So it types auto-hotkey and presses enter, and it'll take us to the site. All right, well, I think we're running out of time, so we're going to wrap it up. Um, make sure you read the recap on the blog. The link will be posted with this video um, if you happen to be watching it on YouTube, and it'll be also posted on the auto-hotkey forum. That's all for now. See you next time. I actually have one more thing that I'd like to say first, and that's um, you can use the Tide key. I'm not sure exactly how you say it, and that makes it uh, allow you to send the key, although it still does whatever action you give it. So we're going to have it when we send G, it also sends A, and we're going to run that script real quick, and whenever we type G, it also follows it with an A. And the other thing is if you are going to be sending the G key and you don't want it to trigger your hotkey, 
accidentally.